Okay, so I'm doing some testing with some high voltage stuff and put some resistors in there so I don't burn things out, basically. And uh, get some issues with the uh, breakdown across the resistors. It's really annoying. So I think I'm going to try to pot these resistors. Yeah, maybe in paraffin this time because uh, I put them in Vaseline and I, I put a torque on the. Uh, the leads it's going to just rip them right out of the Vaseline and I don't have a nice container for them so let's just try potting it in paraffin this time and since our leaders our criminal leaders have decided to throw America into a great depression uh, due to this phony virus attack um, maybe I'll just try using something cheap like repurposing this uh, plastic case here that potentiometer came in. I'll see if I can put my resistors and pot them in here. I don't know if it's going to withstand the heat or the plastic might crinkle up so it may not work. But I guess we'll give it a shot. Okay. Should be interesting. Okay, I happen to have a bunch of paraffin wax that I got from the hobby store. And maybe I'll just start taking some pieces and sticking in our little tray here if I need a better knife and uh, not a butter knife a better knife because this is just a razor blade and uh, I'll just put a bunch of paraffin wax in there and see if I can heat it up with the heat gun okay well, I'm gonna put the camera down so while I do this that's a fun chore okay okay I'm just taking this razor blade here and shaving this paraffin into our little container down here. Hopefully get enough to cover up the bottom. And uh, let's just take a look down here. Okay, you want to cover it up so you, you don't get corona or arc discharge because you'll lose power and you'll lose voltage if you do that. I don't know if our little container will hold up to the heat, but let's give it a shot, I guess. Okay, okay so here we got our heat gun. And uh, let's see, I guess we'll just turn it on. Let's see if we can melt the wax. Let's try it on low at first. Because, uh, as I learned from the other experiment, sometimes uh, balls to the wall is not the best policy wreck things sometimes. This is melting pretty quickly with the heat gun. I don't want to melt the outer container, I want to melt the wax first. Uh, I may not have enough wax in there. Look at that, wow, it's melting really quick. Just like the Vaseline, it looks like the wax becomes clear, so it becomes a liquid. Okay. Not sure we have quite enough in there to cover up all the resistors. We have to add a little bit more wax, but seems like it's working pretty good. I haven't destroyed our plastic container yet. And uh, yeah, let me just try to put a little bit more wax in there, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, okay I added just a little bit more wax to it, and because uh, it wasn't quite covering all the resistors, and last time it melted really quick, all these little chunks with high surface area. Looks 
look again, it's melting very quick. I think this time I'll have enough to cover the whole circuit. to be destroying the packaging either. So we're adapting very nicely to the dystopia America that our criminal leaders have created for us. Of course it's uh the fat lady hasn't sung yet. <laughs> the worst is yet to come I'm sure. I'm sure they're not done with their evil shenanigans. No one's standing up to them so They're going to keep it up. <clears throat> oh, wait. No, you, you, we're going to tell you what, what's essential, what you can have and what you can't have to stay captives in your house. We're going to get you. They've been preparing for years for this, obviously. This fake virus attack. Anyway. Okay. So it looks like I melted the whole surface. And it's looking pretty good. Let's let it cool off for a little while, and then we'll test out our resistors and see how they work. It looks like the container is still hasn't failed yet. So you can see a clear layer of liquid in there. And the wax becomes clear and fluid-like. I'll just let that harden for a little bit. And then, uh, We'll test her out. I think it's hardening pretty quick actually. And like I said, I chose paraffin because it's going to be a little bit more solid than the Vaseline. And it has good electrical properties as well for high voltage. Okay. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it's all solidified and it didn't destroy the container. And so I guess it's time for us to go test out our new potted resistor. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Okay, so we put it back in our circuit and we'll turn up the high voltage. And it looks like. that we're breaking down so I think things are looking good okay. anyway this is Dr. James and thanks for watching